garden in July is full of delicate colour, lots of pinks, um, some as pale as this one, some more on the mauve end of the spectrum, and some really, really quite vivid colours. Uh, this Persicaria orientalis is a new thing we've grown this year. It's not as big as I was expecting, but it is rather lovely. This hydrangea, which I originally bought from Mrs. Bullivant, is, uh, is looking really splendid this year. And I think it speaks very well to the little penstemon just across the way from it. Across the front, you know, the Ami are still providing this fantastic froth, which kind of comes round the corner into this curved bed. They're way taller than we were expecting. I mean, we were expecting them to be kind of three foot tall. They're seven foot tall. Quite extraordinary. This bed is, is looking just fabulous at the moment. And there's a few new things this year. So we're really enjoying these little kind of primrose yellow sunflowers. Very delicate colour. In this bed, it's all about the mauves and the grasses and the movement in the wind. And it's, it's considering it's its first year... I am delighted with it. But you do from there get a glimpse across to the red bed where things are not quite as subtle and lovely. They're lovely, just not subtle. These, these, the colour of these two, particularly that daylily, is, uh, is a glorious, really strong red. This is another new annual that we're growing, which is a, a ricinus communis. So, yes, castor oil plant to you or me. But the whole red bed... Is, um, is looking very good, and the, those, the privet gives a good backdrop. Under the trees, the grasses give lovely movement. There's lots of little uh, sort of semi-wildflowers. These campanula are a particular delight at the moment. But I'm also liking the way at the back of this secret garden, it kind of just tumbles down the wall and into the Udofari. You know, you can't even see that there is a divide. And you know, there is, there's a four foot drop, but there's nothing there at the moment. In the orchard, the colours are looking splendid. The, the bronze just picks up all the colours around. Well, not, not the pink, obviously. But the Achillea is, is a, very happy out in here. And this is a very pretty thing. It is, of course, for those that know, a thistle. And as you'll see, I have a lot of them. But they're all the way over there. They're up by the bank. We will try and reduce them. But it's actually a great effect at this time. The pond's very tranquil and peaceful and you know, really really fitting in well. But as always, the glory of this garden is not just the garden, it is the view. 